Ever wondered how to capture your reader's attention right from the start? Welcome to my guide on writing the introduction section of a research proposal. The introduction is your chance to set the stage for your research and spark interest. In this video, I will explore how to craft a compelling introduction, outline the key elements, and get started on creating a strong foundation for your proposal. Let's get started. All right, uh, let's look at the next section of the research proposal, and that is introduction. So when you're thinking about introduction, if you have some pointers of what is it that you can write about in the introduction, I think it will be very useful. So I've got four pointers for you here. Uh, you can write something about background, a little bit on the problem statement, then mention the objective, and then the research questions. And the order is uh, this this order. Uh, I think you can change it as well. But ideally, you give some background information. Then from the background, you come to the uh, defining the problem, you know, rather than it the other way around. Uh, sometimes I have seen uh, people start with a very strong uh, problem statement as the first sentence of their proposal. And that is very catchy as well. So if you want to do that, that is also equally fine. But the idea is to cover all these uh, aspects in your uh, research proposal uh, in the introduction section of your research proposal so let's look at background so in, in case of this that uh, project that we're discussing here on uh, urbanization and green spaces a sentence or two on the background so urbanization has led to a significant reduction in natural spaces within city environments contributing to various health issues including mental health disorders so this one sentence gives you gives the reader a good uh, a start at least uh, on the uh, progress or on the research that you're intending to do and there is also a hint of the uh, problem that they are facing for example health related issues and mental health disorders so there is a thing you can expand that bit further i mean your introduction is not just going to be four sentences like you have you can see here but you can always elaborate what you can also do is you can add some uh, some statistics say for example recent studies have shown that uh, there is a rise in uh, mental health uh, issue mental health among people living in cities and then you can find some statistics that can prove or that can support your argument uh, and then there are there are many websites where you can or even if you search in google for example fairly uh, easily uh, you will find some relevant statistics that you can use to support your argument uh, next look at the problem statement so here what we have despite the known benefits of nature of psychological well-being there is insufficient research so this is important there is insufficient research on how specifically urban green spaces affect mental health among city city dwellers so what do you have here the problem statement is mentioning that there is a lack of research on this specific aspect and that's why we are going to do this research. So you can also uh, get some similar terminology, similar phrases when you're writing your uh, problem statement within the production section. Uh, next, we come to the objective. So imagine you have uh, written, say, uh, five or six sentences for background and another three or four sentences for problem statement. Then your research proposal is starting to build up. You know, it is uh, it is uh, growing and then you come down to a uh, come down to the objective and this is where you say what is it that you're actually or exactly going to do so the objective here is to assess the impact of the quality and uh, quantity of urban green spaces on the mental health of city residents so there are two things here the impact of the quantity so how many are there and quality so those are the two things that they want to investigate in this proposal uh, so based upon a research objective, you can then derive multiple research questions. Say, for example, here, one question is, how do urban green space spaces influence the mental health of individuals living in urban areas? So we have an objective and we have uh, some research, one research question. And in the next slide, you will see, uh, I have some more research, uh, research questions that uh, can be derived from this objective. So let's see what. Typically, one objective can be answered using multiple research questions. Uh, so what do I, what do I have here? So I have listed three other research questions that will help to answer this objective. 
So let's see what is the first one. How does the quantity of urban green spaces within a city affect the mental well-being of its residents? So this first research question is looking at the quantity aspect. Okay. The next one is in what ways does the quality of urban green spaces influence the psychological health of individuals living in urban areas? So that is the second research question. And third is what is the role of urban green spaces in social interaction and community cohesion? And how do these social factors influence mental health? So you can see starting with one objective, we have uh, gone, uh, got three research questions. 